Hello everybody, I am Roman Rodriguez and uh, we will continue with exercise 13.2 which is lesson 4 on permutation and combination. So, I have just uh, matched a few questions. Question number 17. A race has a first, second and third prize and there are 8 runners that enter the race and the prizes are awarded for the first, second and third runners. In order of merit, find the number of ways in which these prizes could be won. So you have uh, eight runners and the prizes are awarded to uh, first, second and third, so three. So we will be applying this formula where n is equal to eight and r is equal to three. So what do we get? We get eight factorial upon eight minus three, the whole factorial. So 8 factorial would mean 8 factorial upon 8 minus 3 would give you 5 factorial. So 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Over 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. This and this will cancel out. Uh, 6, 7 is 42. 42 times 8 would give you 8 to the 16. Uh, 4 is 32. I want 32. So there are 336 ways. Okay, that uh, uh, you can uh, win this race. Okay, next uh, part of the same question it says that, that Ming Fong and Evelyn are two of the eight runners. Uh, find the number of different ways in which the prizes could be won if neither of them win the prize. So, if, we, if two of them are not participating, that means you are left with six permutations. So, uh, three prizes already given away, so this can be solved as uh, 6 factorial upon 6 minus 3 factorial. So 6 factorial would mean 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And 6 minus 3 would give you 3, so 3, 2, 1. Cancel out. So 4, 5 is 20, 26 are 120. So there you are. So the number of different ways in which the prizes could be won. If neither of uh, them, that is Ming Fong and Evelyn take part, so you get 120. Let's move on to the next question, number 19. Now it says here, each of seven children in turn throws a ball once at a target. Now there are seven children. The okay? number of children that we have is seven. Okay, they are showing throwing to a target. Uh, they can be arranged in order to take the throws, given that three of the children are girls. So the number of girls that you have, three, and the rest are boys. So there you are. And four are boys. Calculate the number of ways the children can be arranged in order that successive throws are made by boys and girls alternatively. Okay, and B part, a girl takes the first throw and the boy takes the last throw. Okay, so if you take a number of children, throw the ball at once at a target, so calculate the number of ways the children can be arranged. So let's do the first part, uh, can be arranged in order to take the throws. So you have seven and there are seven boys and girls. So this could be written down as seven factorial upon seven minus seven, the whole factorial. So 7 factorial upon 0 factorial and I did tell you earlier that 0 factorial is equal to 1. So 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Uh, 2, 3, 2, 6, 4, 3, 24, 24, 5s are 24, 5s are 5, 4, 3, 20, 5, 2, 10, 11, 12, 120, 126 are 720, 727 would give you 7, 0, 7, 2, 14, 7, 7, 7, 49, 150. So 5,040 ways they can throw the ball, okay? Now, uh, the second part of this question, just do it over here. I'll try the first part, A part. Okay, for the A part it says that given that three of the children are girls and four are boys, calculate the number of ways the children can arrange in order that A part of question number 19. Uh, successive throws are made by boys and girls alternately. Successive throws are made by boys and girls. So let's say there are a uh, number of uh, boys, there are four boys. 
okay, times how many girls are there? Three girls. Uh, there you are. So this would mean uh, four factorial upon four minus four factorial times three factorial upon three minus three factorial. So four factorial would mean four three two one and zero factorial means one. So times three factorial would mean three two one and zero factorial would mean one. So four three is twelve two is twenty four and times three two is six. So six four is twenty four. 6 to the 12 and 14, 144 ways you have. Okay, successive throws are made by both boys and girls alternatively. So all seven of them will get a chance to throw, or four boys and three girls. Now let's do the B part. Okay. A girl takes the first throw, a girl takes the first throw and the boy takes the last throw. So you have a, a girl who takes the first, one girl takes the first throw and then you have one of the boy taking the last row. Okay, so how many are left then? You are left with one girl and one boy takes the throw, then you are left with five. Out of seven, number of children. So five. So let's work this out. Three uh, over three minus one factorial times uh, four factorial upon four minus one factorial times 5 factorial upon 5 minus 5 factorial. So, what do we get now? Uh, 3 factorial upon 3 minus 1 is 2 factorial times 4 factorial upon 4 minus 1 will give you 3 factorial 5 factorial upon 5 minus 5 is 0 factorial and 0 factorial we know is equal to 1. So, we are left with 3, 2, 1, and 2 factorial can be written as 2 times 1, 4 factorial as 4, 3, 2, 1, 3 factorial as 3, 2, 1, 5 factorial as 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So 2, 1 and 2, 1 will cancel out. Uh, this 3 will go with this 3, in fact, uh, 2, 1 and 2, 1 will cancel out. So you have 3 times 4 times uh, 2, 3 is 6, 6 was are 24. 24 fives are 24 fives are 5 for the 20, 5 for 10, 120. So 3 for the 12, 12 12s are 144. Zero. Okay, 3 2 factorial, 4 3 2 1, 4 3 2 1, 5 4 3 2 1, 2 3 2 6. I guess that's it. So hope it is clear to you all. And uh, we'll meet in the next lesson. I'll do question number 21 uh, on 21, 23 and complete this exercise, okay?